Let's take a closer look at conditional statements because I would like to improve how projects are edited on my app. And what I'd like to enable is that only the project owner can edit a project, but everyone can view a project. Now I'm currently logged in as a user called Zara. And let's see by default the projects that she can view and edit. Okay, so Zara works in a large team and here are all the ongoing projects and she can filter them by upcoming in progress and completed. Excellent. Now Zara is only the creator of some of these projects, but she can go ahead and edit any project that she would like. So I'd like to restrict this. For that, we'll set up conditional logic. Now there are two approaches we could adopt here. We could make the button not clickable when the user is not the owner of a project, or we could hide the edit button altogether. Let's explore both options. So I'm gonna click on the edit button and then edit workflow. And what we're gonna do is have a look at this only when input field. And this is where we create the workflow conditional logic. And what I'm gonna say is that only when the current user is the current row's project's owner, that's when this button is clickable. And if it's not, if the person is not the owner, well, we could show them a pop-up, a warning message, etc. Let's first see if this will work. But to understand what's going on, but to know which one should work and which shouldn't, we need to look at the database first. So let's have a look to see where Zara is the owner. So Zara is the owner of Build AI App, but she's not the owner of Product Launch. Okay, good. So let's test this. So Build AI App is at the bottom. Edit button looks like it is working. Fantastic. What about Product Launch? And you can see that it is not working. So I kind of like the edit button to be there at all times, but why don't we visually show a conditional design change when the button isn't clickable? So let's do this. Let's go to this button and let's define another condition. We already have other conditions here. In actual fact, we can just delete that one there. So let's just delete all of these conditions and start again. So I'm gonna reinstate the hovered. When this button is hovered, then I'm gonna change the background color. And I'm gonna add a second one. And for this one, I'm going to say that when current user is not current Rose Project's owner. And when that statement is true, then I want this element not to be clickable. And I'm gonna change the background color to something lighter and the font color to something lighter as well. Let's have a look at the results. So I can clearly see now, logged in as Zara, that I am the owner of these particular ones, but you can see that this hand icon has remained a pointer because these buttons are not clickable, but these ones are. Now we don't need the workflow conditional step. So I'm just gonna clean that up by running this workflow again and just removing this particular expression, nice and clean.